custom and does a real good job of accent parts, uh, bringing out uh, originality in cars and uh, also custom stereo and stuff like that. Mike, how you doing? It's your first spring break, yeah. wow. And what an exciting time to come down, huh? Oh, huh? I said that. We gotta back everybody up, please. We're getting a little crowded here. You're gonna get a job done. These cars all cut, all um, all cut them, um, all original. So we had tried to make it cut the mice. Uh, so it's nobody, uh, no fire, no nobody. Uh. If it's going the way it's definitely been going, you know, in the past, you know, two years. Uh, pretty soon, you know, you'll see a lot more shows dedicated strictly to import cars and not a mix, you know. You know, domestic imports and you know old school you'll see just straight up import I mean now it's you know it's big in certain parts of the country and now it's I mean it's eventually it's just gonna be huge all over uh, especially you know with you know major movies um, it's just blowing up the scene I mean it's gonna be huge within the next five years you'll see more imports than old cars at a car, you know, an older car show import car is uh it's uh, easy to, you know, uh, they have like aftermarket part a lot, so, and then easy people, uh, you know, it's not too much uh, money, and then uh, I don't know how to tell it, but what well, people like is all import car because they have a lot of part, like uh, body kit, uh, they sell, you know, a lot of stuff. Neon is a gas-filled tube of light that has been used for decades in signs, especially business signs like mine behind me here. And in the past 10 years or so, it's become an automotive accessory. We've been installing underbody neon kits and other trim uh, neon in interior installations, and has become a, an exciting way to uh, draw attention. Neon is a striking, uh, bright sign that draws a lot of attention. Welcome everybody to the 2003 Spring Break National Street Blow Off Competition here in Daytona Beach, Florida. We're here with Spring Breakers as they gather around to witness the Spring Break Competition, 6th Annual Street Blow Off Competition here in Daytona. We're in front of the Ocean Center. It's a wild Saturday night. People everywhere. As you can see, we have families, we have children, we've got everybody here all having a good time. Neon guys are getting them all excited. And of course the girls, the girls throwing out the neon glow sticks. this crowd and we're going to see how the crowd reacts to the vehicle and the vehicle with the most attention is most likely going to be our people's choice award I think everybody's just tried to outdo each other, you know, you try to you try to take it to that next level, you try to do something that somebody else hasn't done, you know, whether it's fiberglass, whether it's paint, carbon fiber, aluminum, you just try to take it, you know, things you see in other industries and try to apply it to the automotive industry. 
We always got to be one step ahead, everybody. All right, I'm here with Ken from Fort Lauderdale. Beautiful PT Cruiser. How's the spring break going uh, for you? Awesome, absolutely awesome. Awesome, it's nice to see you here. I see you've got some flashy stuff everywhere. Good luck to you. Thank Go you. ahead and show the, ju the judges what you got, and good luck. Great, thank you. I like the way they look. I like to drive them, and I, and I like the, uh, you know, the types of people that it involves. Instead of like spending their money on drugs and alcohol, they can put their money into their cars and, you know, and have a fun time with it. You know, go to shows and everything. Every show you go to, you may see an idea that somebody else has done, but you take that and you apply your own personality, your own creativity to it, and you try to make that idea better, or you try to improve on it, or if you saw something, you can say, hey, look, they did that, why can't I do this plus this and make it better? It's just going to get more intense and it's going to get more creative. And it's, uh, Everybody's going to try to outdo each other. Who can who can build the wildest looking car? Who can build the fastest car? The neon glow of competitions at Spring Break National started over seven years ago, and it was just a gathering of about uh, 10, 12 cars, and it has grown to from what we just passed about 70 cars, uh, with these kids showing off their lighting systems, their uh, neon, their strobes and any other lighting accessory they can add to their vehicle. Every show is changing. Every time you come to a show, you get another idea, and you go home, and you can't sleep at night, and you get up and scribble it down on paper, and you go to the store, and you go to the install base, and you try to work on that idea that you saw at a show. This shows the, the cream of the crop. I mean, it, this is where, this is what you've worked for all year long. You've, you've built your car, you've made improvements, uh, you've tried to do everything you possibly could to get here, and now that you're here, this is this is what it's all about. Here comes April. She's creeping up into the judges' lanes, nice and slow. And boy, when we get a chance to take a look at this car, you're going to be quite amazed. This is really something. I have never seen neon in the seats. This lady has neon in the seats with flashing lights. And here she pulls up into the lane. <laughs> April, welcome to Spring Break Nationals. Now I see the floor mats blinking and the seats blinking. How hard was that? Not actually that hard when they're considered seat covers. Oh, you got them as seat covers. That's excellent. Okay, April, it's looking really nice. Is this your first spring break? Yes. First spring break, spring break. all the way from Ohio. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. It's a beautiful car. Nice ride, and I like your sign in the back. You like it loud. It's definitely becoming a girl's, a girl's domain as well as a guy's. Because the girls, you'll see them, they have their own touches. They have like flower rims and they put all kinds of little cutesy flower decals and stuff around. Lots of glitter with girl stuff. And the guys have their fast looking things. We make ours cute as well as fast. Girls are definitely smarter. Definitely the more intelligent race. Watch the door, Wesley, nice beautiful green truck. Wesley's about to do the creep. He's gonna creep up. I see you got a load of girls in the back. That's the only way to do spring break, isn't it? How are you girls doing back here? This is an Alabama boy. He's got the Alabama girls in the back, and of course, he's got that street glow neon, and he's got it all greened up and matching. No, 
it's definitely not a fad. It's definitely going to stay along for a while. I mean, because there's constantly, they're always coming out with bigger, better things for you to do your car. All right, we've got Eddie here. Eddie's doing the creep with his shark mobile. <laughs> Say, hey, what's up? This guy's got it all, and he's got it all on all the doors. We were talking about televisions and computers being in cars. This one has three. The Land Shark has got three. This is a continuous project something that's always going to be there since you can always work on and do. Man, this is absolutely phenomenal. He's got all four doors, and of course, he's got the shark logo. Now, how many hours do you have into this? Oh, I, I, hundreds and hundreds? Oh, yeah, hundreds and hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds. I can't imagine a nicer place to show this car yeah. off here than right here at Spring Break Nationals. Yeah, I love this place. Absolutely. <laughs> Here we go with a beautiful white van. Obviously, you can see tons and stuff of stuff in this one. Technology is rampant now with these competitions. You see televisions, computers, VCRs, Nintendos, Game Boys. They've got anything and everything nowadays they're putting into the car. Come on up, brother. Here we go, creeping up with another nice white ride. Man, I'll tell you, the engine is decked out in this. Almost looks like he's got mirrors. Almost looks like you have mirrors in that hood, man. Yeah. I'm looking at an interior here that is just pure, pure white. And of course, we got a beautiful lady in the back here. Now, the back is completely done. Back has got fur, neon, and of course, the American flag. What more could we say during the year of 2003? American flags a symbol of what we are doing and why we are doing it and how fortunate we are to be able to do what we do here in the United States. Where are you guys from? Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Now you look beautiful riding back here in this nice white fur. This is my truck. You going to be cruising on this in the avenue later tonight? I sure am. Absolutely. I'll bet you get a lot of attention too. Thank you. Well, good luck to you guys Thank in the contest. Good to see you. Absolutely beautiful. I've just always wanted to make my car out real nice. I've always wanted to be different than other people. Um, and then he was always into American cars, and we got together, and that's when I pulled him into the import scene. <laughs> Let me get a blue one. Hey, let me get a green one. It's like a big adrenaline rush, you know, and you're practically like the show on the road, everybody is staring at you, it's, it's kind of nice, you know. High Tech Racing, well this is our team based in Rhode Island. We got a couple of cars, we get together, we go to car shows, we even sponsor a couple of car shows. And we just get together and have fun. It's just basically a group of guys get together, hook up each other's cars, and we get to spend, play with the big toys, you know? Big boys play with big toys, and that's what we're all about. It's been on for a while. It's just been hitting the mainstream right now, you know? Everybody's seeing it now, you know? Since the movies come out, everyone's on the film. It's been out for a while. It's just more mainstream now because everybody's paying more attention to it. If you think about it now, back in the days in the 50s, this is what they were doing back in their time. So now, this is our time, this is what we got access to, and this is what we're customizing now. So this is basically, when you come to a future hot rod show, you're basically gonna see an import. You're not gonna see a 53 Bel Air chopped up. You're gonna see a BMW, you're gonna see a Honda, you're gonna see just about any import mark on the market. You're gonna see it at the next, in the future. That's basically what you're gonna see now. Price-wise, if you think about it, this is cheaper for us. With short times, easy money, you know? And right here, we got a 2001 BMW, you got the best of the luxury. We got some 19 inch axis wheels. We got three TV sets in, some kicker amps, some kicker subs, you know. Leather interior, the best of the goodies with two NOS bottles, you know, to kick the horsepower. You know, ground effects, the lights, the best of the luxury can give with the aftermarket world hitting it. Oh, 
Okay, as you can see, the ultimate spring break cruise is on its way. Cars are coming down one at a time, trying to excite the audience. The one who can excite the audience the most, that will be the people's choice for 2003 Spring Break Nationals Street Competition Glow Off. And as you can see, the cars are cruising by nice and slow, exciting the audience, and they're coming in about five miles an hour. And of course, we've got everything. All right, we're here with Stefan. Stefan is from Minneapolis, all the way from Minneapolis. He's here on his first spring break, and he's got computers in his car and huge computer screens. All the way down, all the way down, come here. Because you don't want nobody having the same thing that you have. You want to be ahead of the person who's competing against you. But that, that's how it is here. You know, you try to, you see a car, you want to add, you see a car like yours, you want to keep adding more, more to it, so you can, I don't want to, I don't want to sound mean, but mean, beat the person at the show, you know? You want to come out on top, be first place on your class. It's the wild stuff that we do to the cars now these days, you know? Like back in the days, it was the, low, the hot rods. Now everybody started to come out with these cars, and we started to do wild things with it, like this one right here. So we get a lot of comments like, yeah, you know, hot rods forever, you know what I mean? But we, we're we coming up, we're coming up, because I'm starting to see a lot of hot rods sitting on the ground now. So next thing you know, this show is going to be only low riders. Yeah, I mean, uh, the hot rod stuff is like sitting back a little more, you know what I mean? It's not coming. The low riders are coming up, the imports are coming up. This is by far one of the nicest vehicles we've seen here today. Absolutely beautiful. A lot of creative work has gone into this. What gave you the theme for the shark? I, I just got that name. Uh, You're just a bad boy with sharks, yeah, man. Yeah. Don't get around you because you I bite, right? I a lot of spear fishing Don't. and diving and stuff. And my brother always called me shark, so. Nice. I got stuck with it. Yeah. <laughs> We're here with Stefan, nicknamed Shark. You put great thought into this. Good luck tonight. I hope you take home a trophy. Thank you. Greg, this car is shipped out of Norway. 18 days to get here, and over 3,000 LED lights light this up. It's literally a home inside of a vehicle. And first spring break for this vehicle? Yeah, this is my first spring break. I just came from uh, California where I did the Grand National Roaster Show, and I did it pretty good over there. Now I've noticed on this right here, you tell me there's over 3,000 LED lights within this vehicle? Yeah, I drilled 3,000 holes in my body, in this, in this car's body, and I put in LEDs from the inside and out, and cleared it all with uh, 24 layers of clear coat. And I noticed this is a theme of New York City, it looks like. Yeah, it's like what? a cruise store with my cars that I had there when I was living with my friends over there. And I noticed the World Trade Center buildings right here. Right. Absolutely beautiful. People love them. What a great momento. We wish you luck. We are glad Thank to you. have an international flair here. And this is by far one of the most outstanding vehicles I have ever seen. Good luck to you. Thank you. Unbelievable. 3,000 LED lights in a vehicle. I can't imagine anything more exciting than that. And also a picture of our New York City. Absolutely incredible. All right. We are continuing on. We have got more and more vehicles still to go. It's amazing about Spring Break Nationals. If you would believe that Spring Break Nationals, as large as it is now with over 25,000 people attending over two days, 80 manufacturers, well over four to 600 vehicles, that this event actually started in a bank parking lot 17 years ago with only 50 cars. This show has built itself to be the largest car show, competition, expo in the whole world. And from what you're seeing tonight, this is great proof. Okay, here we go again. We got some more cars creeping. We got so many people here, we don't even know where to put them anymore. Now we're looking at another wild little creation here. All right, I'm here with Jay. Jay is already taken first at the Tuner Bash today, and this is a whacked out RX-7. 
He's gone from the tuner bag right into the neon competition. And of course, you can see the black is just absolutely beautiful. Again, we were talking about the technology that's coming out. The new thing out is lasers. Lasers and televisions. That seems to be the new creative thing that people are doing. This black car has actually got six television screens. Absolutely beautiful. How many hours of work do you have into this car? Two and a half years, okay. You know, everyone tries to use their own ideas and uh, creativity on, uh, you know, just creating a car because you never wanted it, anything to look the same because then people get tired of the same thing. I guarantee, like, if you, you come to a show, if you bring your kids to a show, you're going to see something that is going to make you say, whoa, you know, I, I, how does that happen? And this is going to make you get into it more. I mean, that's how it starts. You can make it as fast as you want, or you can make it as pretty as you want. It just takes a little time, effort, and a little bit of cash, and you should be all set. It's a hobby. Sometimes you get a little more into it. It, get, <laughs> it becomes more like a lifestyle. Yeah, the automobile brings us together, you know? We all help each other out. That's what we're all about. Opinions from other guys, you know, what looks good, what doesn't look good, what can I do next? You know, we all give each other opinion. That's what we're all about. It's like a little little group family, like big brothers. That's all we are. We got youngers and olders, you know, stick together. What do we get out of it? We get to interact with everybody, you know. We get to, you know, get to, everybody shares everybody's opinion, you know. Everybody shows where we can get the best parts, who can give us the best prices, you know. Because we got so many, so many of us, we can just. I work very hard. I work 18 hours a day, six days a week. I, mean, I earn my money and put my money with my car. It's not. You got your dealers that like to do it too, but I work hard to earn my money to invest into my car.